Hello, my beautiful friends. So, I watched this great video by this content creator named Akita, who I'd never heard of before, but I'm now following because she taught me how to make a vision board using a mashup of Google Notebook along with my favorite tool. So I'm going to link her video below. It's great, you should go and watch it and you should like and subscribe to her channel because it's great content and she has some other uh, freebies and all kinds of stuff that you can get in her li her links. Uh, but basically this is a pretty easy process. I did her whole process. Then I, um, you know, I, I made this beautiful vision board which is absolutely stunning and I will put on my phone so that I can look at it every day as a reminder of my goals uh, for what I want to accomplish. So that's what a vision board is. I do them every year. I've uh, done them for quite a number of years and I hang them on my fridge and then Akita's like you could put it on your phone and have it right there. Who knew, right? So it's pretty easy to do. All you need is your favorite your your favorite AI tool and um, Google Notebook. So definitely watch your video to get the real great details on how to do this. Uh, but this is just a very brief walkthrough uh, so that you can check out what I did. So I actually used all of the models that I use every day. I use the big five. The only two that actually could do the work were Grok and Gemini for me because of the way that I use Perplexity, the way that I use Claude, and the way that I use ChatGPT. It didn't have enough information information about me to actually do the task. So the two tools that I ended up with were Grok and Gemini. And what I did, in addition to what Akita shows you how to do in her video, is I mashed the two up and uh, created a notebook with, uh, with both charts and then created a vision board from that. So let's get started. So what I'm going to just start a brand new notebook so that you can see it done from scratch. So I'm going to create a new notebook. I'm going to title it Vision Board, BRG's Vision Board, 2026 Vision Board. Now in her video, she gives you the prompt that you should use and uh, we're going to use the prompt that she, she used. So this is Akita's prompt. All right, so based on what you know about me, infer what my five biggest hopes and dreams are for my future and what I want my life to look like, give me information in a nice neat table. And then what I added, this will be for a vision board that I carry with me daily. And so I just added that to it. So I'm going to copy this because I'm going to use the same prompt both here in Gemini and then I'm going to toss that over into Grok to cook as well. Now, Gemini will say, listen, um, you know, I don't know who you are. This is our first time connecting. I mean, you all have been on my channel. You know I use Gemini 4,000 times a day, right? So, but it does a pretty good job because it goes through kind of my history and, you know, and it says, and, and Akita says this in her video. She did this, I think, with her class. And it does really, it's a little creepy how spot on it is. Like, I'm always trying to have a purpose and an impact in the world, using AI for good, personal growth, freedom and vitality. Um, you know, I want to be able to do the things I want to do. I like to connect very deeply deeply with the things and the humans around me and I do seek for, you know inner peace and stillness so this is actually really really good right so you copy this dun, 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 dun. you copy it and then you go over to your notebook and you see where it says add sources you're gonna copy in your text and you paste it right there you just insert it so now it's there. Now we're going to go over to Grok. We're going to go get Grok stuff. So here's Grok and it says, you know, it, you know, it doesn't actually tell me it doesn't know me because it's like, dude, you're here every single day, 4,000 times a day. So you're going to copy that. You're going to go back over to Google. You're going to add source, copy text, paste it in, click insert. Okay. So these are the two, uh, that were made for me. And now I'm going to go over here to infographic and you're going to click this just little edit thing. And, um, and Akita has really great tips on what to put here. One of them I'm going to show you. So basically what I wrote here is create a 2026 vision board. 
Now in her, she did uh, different cartoon styles. She um, she put herself in it uh, with her um, with her I think her kids or something. But this is completely what you want it to be. So create a 2026 vision board um, using Scottish and Celtic images. Make it inspirational. Use a pastel watercolor palette. I don't know how to spell palette. I guess that's how you do it. Um, and then the key that she said, and I think this is genius, and I, I, I always used 10th grader, but she uses 3rd grader. Use vocabulary for a third grader and of course she spelled it right I didn't but it'll it'll figure it out but we'll fix it just just to be accurate right and she said the reason why you do this and this is this is why I always use 10th grade but third grade's even better AI struggles with spelling words wrong right on a graphic and you've seen that right you've seen the AI graphics and you're like what are all those letters and that's a problem. So if you ask it to use a very simple vocabulary, it has less opportunities to create hallucinations and the words get spelled correctly. And what I found is when I made the vision boards that I made just using Akita's prompts, it actually used words that aren't just for third grade, but it did spell everything correctly. So totally a pro tip, definitely a good one. So. That's what you're going to do. You're going to have, you can uh, do concise or detailed landscape, portrait, square, whatever you want. I just stuck with whatever was here and you hit generate and now you let it cook for a whole hot second. So I just loved this video, but I, what I really loved is that I met this new creator. I think um, her, her work is brilliant. I went down the rabbit hole and checked out some of her links, you know, and she does a lot with, uh, with graphics, which, you know, if you know me, you know, I'm a content person, you know, I'm an academic, so I'm always like nerding out tonight. I made a 40 day grok thing, you know, and um, I learned how to do it in batches so that it, it wouldn't choke on all the code. And, you know, I do all the content stuff, but I'm not great at the graphics and she's really great at the graphics. So I just love this idea and I love that, um, you know, and that you can find anything you want on YouTube and you can make this. You too can make this cool thing. So I hope that you do make them and that you post a link because you can share your vision board uh, just by, uh, you'll be able to click share in a hot minute. You'll be able to share your vision board with me and I hope you'll do that in the comments. So we're just waiting for it to cook here. Um, it's making its thing. So we kind of just have to wait. So, uh, you know, vision boards have always been very helpful for me. I keep mine on my fridge, like I said, and it just reminds me of the things that I want to do. And then at the end of the year, I kind of do a big meditation where I look at their previous year. And um, since I started doing the vision board, I have really accomplished the things on the vision board because I'm reminded daily of what I want to accomplish. You know, the year that I went to Scotland before, I really, I wanted to travel that year to Scotland to celebrate my birthday. And, you know, I made it happen, right? And so this year I'm going back to Ireland and Scotland. So that's going to be on my vision board. Um, and it's really, you know, I really am focused on trying to connect people from all different faith practices together uh, using artificial intelligence and using technology to enrich that experience using AI for good. So um, so I'm, I'm hoping that's what comes up on my vision board. So uh, we're going to just, we're gonna, I'm going to pause here because I, I, I think I could blabber on forever, but I don't know. Oh, here it comes. Here it is. So here's the vision board. What did it come up with? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So that looks just like Iona. And I'm going to Iona in June and I'm going to a Solas Brite. Um, look at that. Oh, oh, incredible. I mean, this is really just amazing. So Akita, thank you so much for teaching me this skill. I hope my readers will, oh, my readers, my, my viewers will watch you too. And I hope you will all make a vision board and that it is as beautiful to you as this one is to me. So you can download it, which I'm going to do, of course. And you can share it. So you can share it with uh, different people. You can uh, share it uh, out in the public, however you want to share it. So there you have it. 
All right. I hope you create amazing things. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.